Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. Welcome to this video on downloading and installing Pega Personal Edition. In the last lecture, we talked about the business use case. At the end, we defined a new Pega DevOps team that can help with building the Climbs application. The DevOps team holds a lead system architect. As a first step of this application design, the lead system architect will be preparing a high level design and will talk with the solution architect to get the design approval. So what do these LSA and solution architect decide as a first starting place? They will be discussing about which servers to use. To run any Pega application, you need two servers. One is app or web server, then the other is the database server. So why do we need app or web server? When you get a Pega software, they provide it either in a AR file or a WAR file enterprise archive or a web archive. If your organization is using any enterprise application servers like WebLogic or a WebSphere, then you can get the year file, that is enterprise archive file. If your organization is using any of the web servers like Tomcat, then you can get the WAR file, which is the web archive file, and you can use the file for the installation purpose. Next is why do we need a database server? As we know that, Pegas software comes with a lot of source code and everything should be persisted into the database. So when you install Pega software, it needs to connect to your database server and installs all the source code or the rule engine into the database. So you need these two for sure. You need an app server and you need a database server. Now the LSA and the solution architect, they will decide and come to an agreement that what web server we have to use and what database server we have to use. In a real time environment, Many organization, they will follow a standard servers like standard web server and standard database server. The main reason is they might have purchased licenses for a specific service. Let's say A-Life organization, they have a subscription for the WebSphere enterprise application server. In that case, they would like to have all the departments running different applications go under this WebSphere application server. They don't want to have different different application servers and different different subscriptions so they have to pay a lot maybe so that's how they design it they may have a uniform application server a similar concept holds for database server once the application and the database server is decided then the lsa can go ahead and install the pega software into those servers let's go little further detail into it so how do they start first to get the pega software you need to have a communication with the pega systems who is the software provider so the organization, they need to have a subscription or a valid license to use the Pega software. It involves a lot of money. So once the license is acquired, Pega systems will be providing as the necessary softwares that needs to be installed into the systems. For this video tutorial, I'm not going to pay any amount to Pega systems to get this commercial software. Instead, what I'm going to do is, instead of downloading and installing the Pega software, I'm going to download and install the Pega personal edition which is of free software that Pega provides just for learning purpose. You cannot use this Pega personal edition for any other commercial purpose. In the coming tutorial in this video, I will show you how to download the Pega personal edition as well as how to install it into your Windows machine. Let's go to the tutorial. The website which you see in the screen is community.pega.com. This is the official Pega community website where developers like us tend to collaborate, share ideas, and also explore the new features that are part of the Pega platform. So here you can also see different sites from which you can land into different official websites like pega.com is their official website. You can also go to Academy where you get a lot of you know, valuable informative courses which will help you to complete certification in Pega. There are main three main certificates like system architect, senior system architect and lead system architect. Feel free to navigate to these pages. Now let's uh, concentrate on downloading the personal edition. There are two main prerequisites. The first thing is we need to have valid login credentials. So here you see I have already logged in with my credentials. I've been part of Pega community right from 2013 and I have already uh, signed up into the Pega community or before we call it as PDN. And this is the first step you have to do. Just go and log in with your credentials. Let's say if you are coming for the very first time, I just opened the same website in the incognito mode. 
So here you see, uh, you get an option either to log in or sign up. So you can go ahead and sign up. Make sure you provide your company email so that you get full access to the Pega community. By default, you always get some access, but uh, you can't download any software. Like for example, there are certain features will be restricted if you didn't log in. And let's say here you can check to download the Pega software, but you are getting this message as you are not authorized. So first thing is you need to have a valid credential. So next is we have to satisfy certain system requirements. You can follow this link where Pega provides the standard system requirements to download the Pega personal edition. So you see, these are the three main things. First thing is, so Pega personal edition can be installed in under Microsoft Windows operating system. But there are some tips and tricks to also install the personal edition into other operating system. You need to have at least 4 GP of free RAM and then 20 GP of free disk space. The thing is, first you have to download and then you have to extract the content and finally you have to install the files. So you need at least 20 GP of free disk space in any of your drive. And then the supported browser versions are Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox 5 or later, Google Chrome 9 or later. So these are the main prerequisites in your system. Okay, now let's go ahead and download the Pega Personal Edition. So navigate to the Pega Community website and then under support, you'll have download Pega software. Click on that, then you will get into the digital delivery page. Digital delivery page is where you can request Pega for software download. You get two options. You can either download a licensed product or also you can download the Pega Personal Edition. You see here, you can download and upgrade your licensed software. You can continue with this request and it may need some approval from your affiliated company. For personal edition, for learning purpose, you can just go ahead and click on this option to download the personal edition. So I'm going to use this to download my personal edition and my download started. Let's take a short break and then come back once the download is completed. My download has been successfully completed. Extract the zip file. Use any of your extractor to do that. So you can see the extraction has been completed successfully. So the next step is to install. Pega provides a batch file install. Double click on it that opens a window, the command prompt that in turn will launch the uh, wizard that helps us with the installation. It's getting loaded up and then you can start the wizard. So you can also read about the prerequisites in the PDN article. Just proceed to the next step. Here you will get the license agreement, like how you can use the Pega personal edition. You can read on your own. I'm going to accept this. And then in the next step, you see all the installation processes. There are five main steps. First, it initializes, it creates some folders in your system, and then it installs the database server, which is of Postgres. And then it loads the Pega platform database. As you know that the Pega code stays within the Postgres database or any type of database. So it needs to load the database with the code. So code in the sense like it creates some tables and load all the data. And then it also creates a desktop shortcuts and you can also launch the Pega platform by default once this wizard gets completed. So I'm going to choose everything as default. So in the next step, you can choose your directory. So I'm going to choose my D directory from here. Just make sure that your directory has at least five plus uh, GB of free space. And in the next step, you need to decide on which port you want to run Postgres as well as Tomcat. The default port of Postgres is 5432 and for Tomcat it is 8080. If you have separate uh, Postgres already running in your system on this port, then maybe you will get a clash on the port. So you have to choose a different port. Let's check on this option port availability that will tell you if these ports are available or ready to take. Yes, both these ports are available. So I'm not going to update these ports. But if you get like the port is not available, then you will feel free to change the port. Just change 5433 or 8090. Just near number you can change. You can also browse on the internet on this. And then go to next. Let's start. This will take at least 15 to 20 minutes to install the Pega Personal Edition. 
just keep an eye on it you see now the database server is getting initialized and it is getting loaded usually the installation process will be very smooth but uh, today i got a strange error that uh, prpc didn't launch code it threw some error but as you can see above all this loading the database steps are all good just that at the final step it didn't launch the prpc system this is not a big issue you can just exit this and try to start the pegup personal edition manually from the desktop icons since i installed this on windows 11 i doubt there can be some kind of permission issues okay let's go ahead and start the pega personal edition from the desktop icon you see there are three icons one to stop the server and next to stop the server and finally to launch the pega platform let's start the server first so this uh, opens up a command prompt that tails the logs and uh, i can see that pega is getting started let's wait for a few more seconds i see the server startup message in the logs let's go ahead and access the pega web application double click on that icon and there you see the pega web application login page you can always customize this login page based on your client needs i have a separate post on my blog on customizing the login screen okay for the first time now you have launched the web application pega provides the default administrator credentials it is administrator at pega.com password is install this is the universal standard uh, password for uh, the first time logging in usually the first time logging in it takes a couple of seconds first time the cache is getting built out so just wait patiently before uh, you see the studios yeah there you go we have successfully installed the pega personal edition and logged inside using the administrator credentials in the next lecture we'll talk about the tomcat and the database servers See you there.